welcome to my first vlog. I asked you guys what videos you'd also like to see from me aside from just my yoga and movement classes and a couple of you suggested I do some vlogs. So I'm going to take you with me today to go training. For just a little bit of context, whilst I'm a yoga teacher and also a personal trainer, I do have my own coach who does my programming for me and I've worked with her for close to three years now. So me and Chloe, who's my coach, met through Instagram, classic. The way that I decided I wanted to start working with her was by inviting her onto my podcast that I used to have with my friend Grace. Grace and I started this podcast in lockdown initially as a way to just talk about our experiences as yoga teachers and the industry that we had been in for the past two years. It's called the Chaturanga podcast. If you're interested, it's on Spotify. Season two, we decided to interview a host of movement professionals and different coaches and just talk to them about their approaches to movement and their story. So we invited Chloe on and afterwards we were both so taken by her approach to movement, to training, and we decided to both work with her. Grace for more nutrition and mindset and me for the training aspect. So Chloe's background is in both Olympic weightlifting and CrossFit where she's competed across the board in both of those disciplines. And I was really intrigued by this. Up until this point, I had maybe spent about a year training at the gym, mainly doing powerlifting, bodybuilding style movements. So thinking about squat, bench, deadlift and a couple of accessory bits. But I wanted a little bit more direction and more specifically, I wanted to work on feeling powerful and explosive in my body again. Rewind a little bit. I grew up as a competitive athlete, I swam, I did track and field, I played netball, so I was always really, really bouncy and springy. But then having sort of dropped that after school, going into university, my focus and movement background then became orientated around predominantly just yoga. And as a result, my physiology started to change a little bit where my muscle fibers were more slow twitch than fast twitch. So I felt less reactive, I felt less springy, less powerful, and I really missed feeling like that. Particularly when I was on the climbing wall, I felt like I couldn't do big dynamic movements because my body just couldn't move in that way. And also when it came to me practicing parkour at the time, I was like, damn, why am I so slow at jumping? So my initial interest with Chloe was to redevelop my muscle fibers and to come back to being more fast twitch and to also explore Olympic weightlifting. I was super fascinated by it at the time. I got really into watching the CrossFit games and the thing that impressed me the most was the weightlifting. So weightlifting being the snatch and the clean and jerk. And I did try to teach myself some Olympic weightlifting at the gym, but it was really difficult to understand the nuances of it because so many things happen in such a short space of time. So I started working with Chloe in order to develop my knowledge around Olympic weightlifting, to have someone to coach, to guide me, to have someone for accountability, and to also just understand my body more than my current expertise had. So that's my background with Chloe. We've been working together, like I said, for almost three years, and it has taken us quite a while to get to where I am for various reasons, injury being one of them, but also because my body type is naturally quite flexible. I am hypermobile in some joints. I've had to work incredibly hard to develop my strength. Whereas on the other end of the spectrum, I haven't really had to work too hard for my flexibility or my mobility. So it's taken us a while to get to where I am, but it's been incredibly enjoyable and I've learned so much about myself, not only from a physical standpoint, but also from a more mental, emotional, spiritual standpoint. So that's a spiel on training and my background and my context into it. So today I'm gonna to take you with me and we're going to do a snatch session with some sprints, which I'm super excited about because I've been wanting to get back into sprints for a while. So let's go. Also the entire time I've been speaking to camera, Jax has been silently judging me from the floor. Look at that perfect little loaf. Meow meow. Judgment. I also just wanted to show you my favorite pair of leggings because if you know me outside of my coaching clothing, you know that I love black and I love mesh. <laughs> and I have found a pair of leggings that are both black and mesh, bringing my 
normal personality into my gym personality. Stunning behavior. Can we also take a moment to appreciate how sick these shoes are? I've worked with Vivo Barefoot for about four years now. These shoes currently aren't released on the market. We're still in kind of like the product testing development stage. But these are their new shoes, part of a project called Vivo Biome, which is aiming to create circular regenerative footwear. So basically the soles of the shoe are scanned to your foot and so is the top knitted design. So it's all made bespoke to your own measurements, which is pretty dope. The sole of the shoe is 3D printed, and so is the top of the shoe, which is just insane when you think about it. I'm holding something that's been printed out. I'm like, <laughs> conceptually, my mind is still wrapping its head around that. Pretty, pretty damn mind blowing. Okay, bag is packed. Let's go. Just arrived at the gym and not gonna lie, I'm pretty nervous about filming at the gym, especially with a mic, because I never really have before. Like I filmed at the gym and stuff, but it's always just like videos to share and send to my coach, which I then like post on Instagram. But I've never really spoken at the camera, so this is gonna be interesting. So I actually ended up not micing myself up just because I freaked out but it did mean that I could focus more on my training rather than constantly worrying about chatting to the camera and being distracted with that. So I started with some whole body primers and plyometrics just to warm everything up. And from there, I ended up taking off my Vivos and swapping for my lifters. I started wearing lifters to help progress with my technique and to push for heavier weight because they do end up supporting my foot a lot better when I am weightlifting. Once that was all sorted, I began to warm up with some key positions for the snatch just with an empty barbell before I moved into my working sets and adding weight to them. Shout out to Trash House for the sickest lifting tee. I began my working sets with some double power snatches before moving into some snatch singles and it just felt really good to push for some heavier weight again. Plus we got some lovely barbell ASMR with the overhead drop. Once I was finished with all my weightlifting pieces, I unracked my barbell and put all my weights away before moving into my accessory movements, which included bench press and a bunch of unfilmed dumbbell drills. When I was waiting for the air runner to be free, I popped into my daily handstand practice, which I'm aiming to do every day this year. And so far we're getting there. So I finished off with some interval sprints on the air runner. It was 40 seconds of active rest, which was walking into 20 seconds of a run slash sprint. And I swear to God, I felt like I was running like Sonic, but clearly the video is not doing me justice. I probably hydrated after because gorgeous girls drink water. And that concludes my training for today. I hope you guys enjoyed having a little bit more of an insight into what training practices and movements I do in my own time, just for myself. Maybe in the future, I'll get more comfortable with chatting into the mic at the gym, but I reckon it will probably take training with mates in order to get to that stage. But anyway, if you like this vlog, do let me know, give me a thumbs up and a comment down below. And if you would like anything else from me, more training vlogs or Q and A's, or you have specific yoga or movement requests, do let me know and I will see you next time. Bye.